A uh, health alert all parents and caregivers need to hear. Flu season is here, but if you've been looking for the vaccine, you may have been told there's a shortage. News for Jack's reporter Crystal Chan spoke to the Department of Health about what's to blame. The time to get your flu shot is now, but your appointment may have to wait as local doctors brace for a delay in vaccine shipments. We've had some delays in deliveries due to the hurricane. Hurricane Michael and Florence have added new complications to this flu season by forcing roadways to shut down and causing delays. That has indeed impacted delivery uh, for all types of vaccines, but um, flu mist is one of those. And so we are certainly seeing some delays. While the Duval County Health Department waits for shipment of the flu mist to arrive in the next week or so, the shot version is still available. Flu clinics at Duval County schools were also rescheduled in September as a result of Hurricane Florence. Healthy Schools says the clinics are getting back on track, offering in-school flu shots to students in the district. Makeup dates for those flu clinics actually began today here in Duval County and will last until the end of the week. Despite the delay, the health department says the spray will arrive in good time. They're encouraging everyone to get protected before the end of the month. It takes two to three weeks for your body to build up antibodies against the flu virus. And so don't delay. Parents with children under nine years old will need to begin that process early. They need two doses given at least four weeks apart if it's their first time getting vaccinated. Crystal Chen, Channel 4, The Local Station. Also, parents, as you look to have your children vaccinated, we know many of you are going to have some questions. So right now on newsforjacks.com, our web team has posted this article discussing the three common myths surrounding the flu vaccine. It includes questions about getting the flu from the shot and the stomach flu. You can find a link in our story under the health section of newsforjacks.com.